everyone, and welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles on the Sheep Sheep and Daniel. Today we're going to be continuing onwards with Flying Battery Zone. And you hear this, um, this plane that's flying overhead. If you're running this on an emulator or at one of the many ports of this game, your ears will probably be bleeding because it's got a high-pitched squeal going eee! But um, if you're playing it off the Mega Drive like I'm currently doing, you won't hear any annoying noise like that. It'll just be like, oh, a, a plane's flying past. Okay, cool. Anyway, welcome to Flying Battery Zone, folks. One of my favorite levels in this game because it has glorious, glorious, glorious music. And we're going to activate this platform. And we're going to make use of Knuckles quickly first, actually. It's because we can climb up here and grab ourselves an electric shield and invincibility power-up. Of course, this cuts out the music, but whatevs. I think we can live without the music for now. But really, this just makes you... There's no real reason to get this other than just really help you go past so you don't have to worry about anything. It really is no point, but... Eh, I don't want to hit the fire shield here because I like to have my... I like to have my thunder shield, personally, because the electric shield, folks, will obviously drag in rings, and we want to keep the rings dragging in. The fire shield is useful in this level, though, because there are a lot of fire-based hazards. But if you can work your way around them, um, I would advise you to... Oh, Christ, I almost died. <laughs> I would advise you to, well, basically utilize... Basically use it. And we just jump over this. Boom. Now, now these little cylinder things you basically walk through, and they're, they're all pretty much automated. You don't have to... God damn it, I lost my shield! You don't have to worry too much about it. Anyway, boom. This is a very fast level though, folks, and it's got a lot of um, collecting and whatnot. But remember, one thing I would advise you guys to uh, do is glide. Because remember, Super Knuckles shouldn't be available to you right now if you're going the same way I'm doing this. So, basically gliding can be pretty, pretty good to use. Especially if you want to go through certain object projectiles. Like, that caps you lab will drop out enemies if you jump on it. So, although... Honestly, we can take care of enemies just fine. I mean, we're Knuckles the friggin' Echidna. I mean, you just jump on them and they blow up. Anyway, if you want to get an extra, an easy extra life, basically follow those trails of rings here, and, um, there. Yeah. An extra 10 ring and an extra life. Although it's really pointless grabbing that extra life, to be honest, because we get more than enough. Granted, I, ha I usually have, like, 20 lives by this point, or maybe, or more, depending. But... Considering my LP hasn't gone as smoothly as I initially wanted, I have, I'm not getting that many, don't worry. Not that it's difficult anyway, this game's going to be over in no time at all. But as you can tell, these magnets will shoot up those spike balls. Be careful because of um, the spike balls will hurt if you run into them. And they decided to make a dick move and leave one of the spike balls off the path, if you will. Not that it really matters, I mean it's really easy to get by. Now you can use these things as a, like a little projectile, so... I would... Projectile? No, not projectile. As a platform. So I would advise you to do that. We. <laughs> Alright, we should be coming up to... Uh... There we go, this is the area. Now if you climb up this wall, you don't need to be knuckles to do this because there's going to be platforms that come out that... Well, basically allow you to climb up the wall as Sonic. But basically once you climb up this wall... And... <laughs> go over that bloody thing. You need to push this spike out of the way. Now, if you push these spikes out of the way, you will basically enter yet another special stage. Now, it took me quite a while to actually figure this one out because this is so... I don't know how you're meant to figure out that's there, to be honest, unless you're meant to take a different route in. But I digress. Of course, that upper path I just took, you can actually see a battery. So there is a reason why this zone is called the Flying Battery Zone. Anyway, special stage time, a go-go. Now this is one of the hardest special stages in the game. I I usually mess up on this one quite a lot. It's one of those deceptively difficult special stages because of, um... Well, it's one reason why... There's only one real reason why I consider this to be one of those deceptively hard special stages, and it's because bumpers are everywhere. One false move, and uh, you're not going to recover, pro chances are. But don't worry though, it's still very easy to navigate, it's just, it's just a matter of really managing, managing when you turn. Like, we're, we're, we're already done actually with the special stage, it's, just, it's really that easy, just grab all these here and get ourselves some fancy dancy rings. Also, if you get um, most of the rings in the, in the special stage, you can get yourself an extra continue, but to be honest, 
I don't think anyone's ever going to use a continue. To be perfectly frank. Anyway, that's the purple chaos emeralds. We've now got the purple super emerald demon. Again, chaos and super mixed up. I mean, it's so annoying. Anyway, boom. There's our new emerald as soon as it twinkles in. I like that little animation though when uh, the super emeralds form into being. It's really, it's really nice effect. I always like that. I don't know why. It's the simple things in life that please you. You will find. Anyway, back into flying battery zone. We shouldn't be too far off from the end of the level now. Be careful of these things, but here they can crush you. So, don't go into them. <laughs> I mean, obviously, duh. Don't jump underneath them. Those little, these things by you on the ground, you might notice them already. They're mines, really. Don't worry about them. I don't think you, I've ever seen anyone get hurt by one of these mines before, so. Yeah. Also, that capsule is a lie. That's not a capsule, it's just spring. Just disguised. Now, as Knuckles, this section by here is really, really tricky because obviously he has a lower jump than Sonic. As Sonic can quite easily clear those gaps, but as Knuckles, it can be quite tricky. But if you're wondering why I'm standing around here for, it's simply because you need to wait for the missiles to blow up a hole in his own ship. Why is he shooting missiles at himself? I don't know. He's the Eggman. You don't. You don't. He has the master plan. You don't mess with the Eggman, bro. Right. So past this checkpoint is an. Im will cause an invisible walls so you can't go backwards so jump down here because down here is the way you get to actually access the next of the um, super emeralds now to be perfectly honest this isn't the way you're meant to come in here so I'm technically backtracking because you meant to jump drop down from somewhere but god forbid I ever figured out where you meant to drop down from so whoop de doo I'm here now all fine and dandy which by the way this basically means I'm gonna get the st I'm gonna get hyper knuckles in the next next act. It's really that easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have hyper knuckles next episode. I tell you. Anyway, we're just gonna want to move straight through these quickly. Oh, fine and dandy. Now this special stage can be quite maze-like if you don't know where you're going, but really just move in a straight line. Or well, to be honest, I never got. It looks maze-like, but I never really seem to get stuck in this stage. So. It's surprisingly straightforward. Like I'm, I'm, I, I don't know how to explain it really. Like if you if you know what you're doing, you shouldn't worry too much. I wouldn't really advise to do what I was doing there though, with jumping over the blue spheres. That is pretty much a madman's thing. But eh, if you think you can do it, then you think you can do it, and it's all cool. Of course, it is very annoying whenever he doesn't turn when I land. But oh well. Ah, there we go, he turned that time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure thing, Gooby. Anyway, there's the st all the blue spheres in this special stage, which results in yet another Super Emerald Father digging the oh so bland grey one. I always got confused why there's even a grey emerald around. I mean, especially after Sonic Adventure, because grey emeralds in Sonic Adventure indicate that there's no power in the Chaos Emerald, so. Unless my graphics are just glitching then, it wasn't great. Oh, I'm seeing things and my eyesight's basically screwed. Nope, that was the grey emerald. Okay then. Right, so, fine battery. Now, there's no more no more special you can get in this act, so I'm just gonna simply speed on by, because this is a Sonic game, don't you know? Into the next act. And as you can probably tell, shoot, breaking that, well, you can, you, obviously you can tell, you can see it on screen, you're not blind. Actually, if you're blind, I'd be questioning why you're listening to me talking, because it won't make any sense to you, but... If you break that plant, that capsule, obviously enemies will come out. Now, this capsule by you, you might think, oh, end a level already. Nope. This is a boss fight. Now, to explain, which I've probably... Oh, God. Probably already explained in the Sonic playthrough. Basically, you need him to hit himself. Just stand on his uh, little this thingy here until his eyes flash, and then just simply walk off. It's... Honestly, it's not hard. This is like boss fight simples 101. You just. There's it, like no effort to even beat this guy. It's, he's a joke. <laughs> oh, stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Anyway, with that, that is Act 1 of Flying Battery Zone complete. And that took 10 minutes. Act 2 shouldn't take so long. There'll still probably be an extra long episode, but we'll get by just fine, I think. I'm pretty certain. I, I just realized my leg was touching the wire. I really hope it hasn't got that boom, boom, boom sound effect that has appeared to some of my videos because I keep accidentally touching the wires on my mic. 
Damn you, microphone, not, not being a headset. Anyway, at least this thing's a higher quality than like a normal headset. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, the game's very generous in giving you a lightning shield there, so be pretty sure to pick that up. You don't need to, but obviously it's useful. Now these um these little corkscrew platforms here are very, very well and good. I love these things. Why? Well, they're easy to get crushed by, yeah, but they, I don't know, it's a very nice effect to them. They've got nice graphics. What can I say? They get really nice graphics. That's right, I'm praising the, I'm praising the graphics of, of a bloody 20 years, well it's not 20 years old. Actually wait, when did Sonic 3 and Knuckles come out? 95? So that's... Jesus Christ, it's almost 20 years old. Oh, I feel old. Oh, I feel old. Anyway, I can praise the graphics of my Mega Drive games. Considering Mega Drive is like my favorite console ever. Well, actually, either Mega Drive or the Dreamcast, one of the two. I love these consoles. Sega needs to... Well, actually, Sega probably won't be the same if I got back, went back into the console industry these days. At least their third-party titles are pretty well and good nowadays. The only problem is, a lot of Sega's third-party... Sega's titles don't even get released outside of Japan anymore, so it's very annoying. Because I love Sega games, what can I say? Eh, they are a stupid company a lot of times, I tell ya. Anyway, we're gonna basically gonna want to climb down here. Now, you might remember this portion from Sonic's portion of the level, where you had to basically... Open, the, open this up by pulling these switches. Now, obviously, Knuckles can't really make that jump. He can, but it's bloody difficult, so you're just basically gonna need to climb up here and glide across. It's not that big a deal, because it's still easy to do, but, you know, be sure to do this. Now, the reason why you want to go up to this pathway is simply because in here is a hidden wall that's not so hidden that'll lead you to a special zone, which will gain you the last of the, the, last of the Super Emeralds, actually, if you're playing it the same way I am. Phew! Throat is killing me. All right, let's try this, and then I'm gonna have a quick break after this act. Seriously, talking non-stop for hours is is stressful on your throat. I tell ya. Anyway, this is um the final special stage, and it's about as difficult as you can imagine imagine it to be. This is the, probably the hardest special stage in the entire game. Now, right by here, it might look pretty um it might look pretty timid as you look at it from this angle, even though I'm going the wrong way. But trust me, later on the special stage gets really difficult because you have to do pixel perfect maneuvers, otherwise you're gonna lose. Like by here, basically you need to bounce off this bumper, collect those, bounce off that bumper and then turn. And you have to repeat this for the majority of the special stage and it's so easy to screw up. One false move, man, one false move and you're gone. I mean, damn. <laughs> Of course, it it's still doable, and I I should I don't think I'm gonna fail here. Of course, I shouldn't re I shouldn't really say that because the recording curse, aka Murphy's Law, is really gonna bite me in the ass if I say that. But uh, three, so yeah. Oh yes, I did it. Oh, I had a mini, I had a wee little heart attack then. But with that, there's the final of the seven super emeralds, which means Knuckles is going to transform into well. It's going to transform into something awesome. Now Knuckles can be Hyper Knuckles, which is basically Super Knuckles with After Images. He's slightly faster than Super Knuckles, but he looks exactly the same and he has After Images. So I'll just show him off right now. Boom! So yeah, he's really no bigger deal. He's really easy. But one special move that Hyper Knuckles has and Normal Knuckles doesn't. If you glide for more than two seconds or so, and actually go into a wall, land into a wall, all enemies on screen will actually die. For unfortunately, there's very few points in the game where that's actually... You, you'll you ever use that, because... Honestly, there's... there's <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Anyway, um, yeah, there's, there's very few points that you'll actually... You'll actually use that move, because honestly... Wherever there's walls, there's very few enemies nearby. You never really ever go into 
go into the walls and have to deal with them. But, I digress. Now, coming up is a boss, and I'm hoping I can get 50 rings for this upcoming boss, because the boss for Knuckles, although it's the same boss as in Sonic Story, um, it is infinitely more tricky as Knuckles, because, well, they basically, the, like I said, boss fights have been rejiggered somewhat, and as a result, this boss is leagues different, leagues more difficult. Actually, I can get 50 rings, I just realized there's a special stage, um, thingy bought it, right you know, right before the boss, so I can, I'll quite easily get the rings I need for the boss. Problem is, I don't want to you transform right away, because there's a cutscene that activates, I don't know. Anyway, we... Seriously though, I love the music of, uh, of this song, it's fantastic. Anyway, we're gonna go right, left in here, and there we go, this is 50 rings to transform. Now, yeah, just be sure to pick that up if you need it, but really, one thing that oh, I've always loved about the Sonic franchise, and this goes for all of the games, they have brilliant soundtracks. And hey, it's Egg Rogue with his twig arms. Now notice how he's by here, and again, he's using the exact same tactic as Eggman used, which is blow me up with your own laser by blowing, shooting at your ship. Didn't really work for Eggman, I don't think it's gonna work for you, Egg Robo. But you notice how he's right by here, and he, he's about to run off, basically, as soon as he's done blowing himself up. Now, when you notice the boss fight, you'll actually see Eggman instead, because they, Eggman in the, in the bo upcoming boss fight has his own unique sprite, and I basically, I pretty much think that Sega didn't bother to really replace it with an Egg Robo sprite, because they basically couldn't be bothered, or they couldn't figure out a way to make an Egg Robo sprite look nice, I guess. Either laziness, or they couldn't figure out a way to make it look good. Anyway. We gotta run very quick by here because obviously the floor is gonna be imploding on us. Now, one thing, one one interesting thing if you are playing as Knuckles and you fly past all this seg segment, or as I'm about to do is, yeah, if you basically Knuckles and you go past the segment fast enough, you'll actually see where the sky graphics end because the sky graphics actually increase with the, the little floor that's basically meant to be stopping you, so... Oh, I wasn't quick enough. Dang it. If you're quick enough, you'll just see black skies. Quite interesting. So I just wasted a super a hyper form for... Actually, I guess it didn't, because I probably would have got crushed if it didn't transform. And plus, I can't imagine the Eggman boss fight taking long enough... Taking 70 seconds a beat. So anyway, if you're a super hyper form, just stand in the very middle of the platform. If you're not, you need to dodge him. Every... Every few seconds, he's gonna shoot fire up, so Dodd, be sure from, to avoid that. Now, this looks like the same as the Sonic boss fight, but it's different because in the, in the Sonic boss fight, he won't shoot fire constantly. Ouch. But basically, you can cheese him as super form quite easily. So with that, we are now done with the flying battery zone. So, with that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate it. Like or comment on the video. And I'll catch you all next time in Sandopolis Zone. So, I'll catch you all then. Bye!